goes. The umpire down at first. Got to be the hardest call to make for an umpire. You never want to decide the game with a call on a check swing. 48,000 plus. Every seat sold. Almost none of them in use right now. Everybody's standing. And the 2 2 pitch. Hit in the air to left. Goriel is there. The Arizona Diamondbacks sweep the Dodgers and head for the LCS. Dodgers swept in a playoff series for the first time since 2006. Diamondbacks advanced at the NLCS for the third time, first since 2007. And today set a record. Four home runs in the third inning. It's never been done before in the post. And as the last qualifier, no matter who they play, the Phillies or the Braves, they're on the road to start it, but they'll take it. They won four straight games on the road. They swept two division winners, the Brewers of the Central and the big bad Dodgers of the West. And you know how these fans feel. They'd be happy no matter who the D-backs beat, but it's especially sweet because it's the Dodgers, because they always feel as if they're sort of a second cousin to the Dodgers in the National League West. So the Dodgers in two successive years lose to the Padres, and now the Diamondbacks. In their own division, teams they outdistance soundly over 162, but then when you turn the page to October, it's a blank page. How about, the, how about the acquisitions for Lavello? Pham, who came over and solidified the offense. This is the last out. Hernandez off the end of the bat. A simple humpback liner into the glove of Guriel and Seawald. Another acquisition that solidified that Diamondback bullpen. 84 wins, a modest total in the regular season. What matters now, 5-0 and oh in the postseason. Corbin Carroll on base 13 times in five games. Brandon fought with the game of his life. Yeah. Doesn't get the victory because he didn't quite go five. But in the minds of his manager and these fans, he got the job done. And the Dodgers, who scored more than 900 runs this year, averaged better than five and a half runs per game, scored exactly two runs in all three games. They lost 11-2, and then twice, 4-2. Downstairs to Lauren Shahadi. Lauren. Tori, congratulations. I saw you hug every single person on this field. I saw a poster on your wall this morning. It said, win the inch. How did that mantra lead you to the NLCS? First of all, there's a lot of love in this clubhouse. It's real. It's here every day. Um, win the inch means a lot of things to this organization. It's something that it's something that we believe in. It's part of our culture. It's about preparation, going out there and believing you're going to get the job done and win, win the games like this. I mean, it's like iRobot coming out of the pen. Each guy nastier than the next. I just saw you hug Seawald. What'd you say to him? Uh, he, we, he and I have a running joke. We'll keep that between us. But, you know, he's come in here and solidified things for us with such a calm demeanor and ability to execute. And you're right. It was a team effort. It's about, it's, it's people caring about people in this organization, and that's what stood out to me today. Four home runs in one inning in the postseason. That's never happened before. What were you thinking watching that, Tori? Uh, it's almost unbelievable, right? I'm a fan, too, and I was looking at it thinking, what in the world is happening here? But I think it's about winning the inch All and right. prepping. Our guys understood we'll the what studio, they had to right? do to make some adjustments, and they went out there and made it happen. The one that was really uh, impressive for me was Gabby Moreno. He hits one foul, and then he hits one fair. It's a great moment for us. You created this culture. Enjoy it, Tori. Thanks so much. Bob. Lauren, thanks very much.